Our next autonomic receptor is alpha-1. So alpha-1 is part of the sympathetic nervous system. Looks like a little fish. So I can draw a little eye. So the eye tells me IP3 DAG. And it tells me this has a sympathetic effect with the eye, which of course is to dilate the pupil. There you go, nice big pupil. But what's the overall big picture for alpha-1? Alpha-1, now I'd like you to take a little piece of wire, or even string, or even floss, if you'd like. Whatever you have at home, take it in your hand, make a little fish, OK? Then what I'd like you to do is take the ends of this fish and pull them together, or apart, rather. And what does that do? That constricts. So alpha-1, big picture is that it constricts. OK? You might say, well, you just told me the eye gets bigger. But even in the eye, you're actually constricting the dilator pupillae muscle. You're constricting the radial fibers, and that's what's pulling the pupil bigger. OK? What else does it constrict? First of all, it's constricting your blood vessels. It's constricting your uh, sphincters, like your internal urethral sphincter, your external anal sphincter, keeping you from peeing and pooping. So GI, let's say GU. It constricts the uterus in pregnancy, so it's basically pumping, it's helping to push that baby out. You're constricting the uh, sympathetic branch of the male reproductive system, the point and shoot, point being parasympathetic, the shoot being sympathetic, it does the shoot. So I'll just say here, shoot. It's uh, also constricting the uh, hairs on your arms and other parts of your body. It's basically it's responsible for the uh, Rectal pili muscles, making your hair stand on end. So, hairs. And it also uh, constricts a little bit the lungs, making it a little harder to breathe. This is not nearly as big an effect as what positive effect of beta 2, but it also has a little bit of that. So, alpha 1, overall, IP3, uh, constricts. Constricts blood vessels, sphincters, uterus. Um, Mayor Repro, Ayers, and Walker.